I'm gonna have a glass, a drink of water. It's getting thirsty. It's a beautiful day, hot day. Finally, you came out of a dead zone. You just came out from a dead zone. I don't know if anybody noticed that sign right there, access zone boundary. I'm not allowed to be in front of an abortion clinic. And save lives. I will be condemned to save lives. Believe in Jesus. He's coming back. Don't refuse and ignore it. Because he promised that's what he's going to do when he comes back. having a problem with the wind today or with the banner you just came out from a dead zone did you notice that sign on this post? It's a dead zone, it's not a bubble zone. You guys notice that sign? You guys notice that sign on that pole? You're walking on a dead zone, not a bubble zone. Killing babies. You guys just walk by and don't care. Point of time for man wants to die and after that judgment day. Get ready, if you're not ready to meet Jesus, you're in big trouble. You guys are entering a dead zone. I don't know if you're aware of that, but there's a sign on that pole that says access zone boundary. Why? Because there's an abortion clinic. Imagine that, having a sign on post to tell them 
there's such a place where they're killing babies. What an awful way to describe something. We have sign that tells you to stop, to yield, watch the speed limits, do not cross. But yet now they got a sign that says Ontario Safe Access to Abortion Service Act. What a shame. What a shame for a country, for a city of Ottawa to put such a sign like that. They're killing babies for Pete's sake. They might as well just say, we are killing babies, leave us alone. Let them kill babies. Heavenly Father, thank you for using me in your ministry. Thank you for guiding me thus far and granting me your grace. Even day now, you know the purpose which I have come to you, O oh Lord. His scripture says that you were with your great servants, like Moses and Joshua and use them them to bring your children out of out of bondage today lord fill me with the same grace anointing and power so that ca i can preach your words boldly and with authority for the deliverance of those under the bondage of sins i'm unworthy lord but make me worthy, like cleansing me and filling me with your Holy Spirit. I, on my own, I'm an empty vessel, Master. Let the uh, Holy Spirit take, take full control of me and let him speak and not me. You know the needs of the people who will be listening to this preaching. I submit myself to you so that you can use me in whichever way you want to. I choose to, glor to glorify you only, Lord. I do not want any glory for me I not, because I'm just a clay in your hands. Thank you for girding me of your spe special grace, power and strength, Lord. Uh, and take victory and uh, I take a victory in your mighty name I ask this in Jesus name I pray amen Good day everyone. Some here might be wondering why I am here I'm making this announcement about abortion, abortion and euthanasia where it has talked about for so many years and in so many ways and why should I listen to more about this when we heard, uh, when we heard it all about it before and still nothing has been done to stop it. How is this one message going to make, make any difference and change people's lives or minds? 
some have great given up and they're all oblivious to what is going on do not care isn't that an awful sign you took a picture of an awful sign i don't know she, she's chinese i don't think she understand english but she took a picture of that i think she did or probably she took a picture of that glass building but I want to talk to her and try to remember or remind her of what that sign represents. Uh, anyway. And become apathetic about it. Well, this Spirit of God sends me here. You guys just stepped out from a danger zone and a killing zone. Did you guys notice that sign on the post? You must have seen it many times every time you walk by here and yet probably don't know what it stands for or what it means. If you don't know, I will tell you. It's telling you that I'm not allowed to pass that sign because there's an abortion clinic there and I should not be in front of it and try to help those women going in there to kill their babies and try to change their mind to save their baby instead of killing it I'm not allowed to be there and if I do stand in front of the abortion clinic with this sign I will be arrested you're just stepping out a killing zone guys yeah look at the sign what it says there on that post it's a shame to walk through this sign you're walking through a building where they're killing babies every day Killing babies left and right. You got to notice that post, that sign on that post here. You're stepping in the killing zone, guys. You don't even realize it. Look at that post sign, sir. Take heed of it. Do something about it. Don't just walk about it and be oblivion about it. You're killing babies. Weren't we not all babies? At one point in our life, in our mother's womb, weren't we zygotes, fetus, or clumpet cells, whatever you call them? Well, I'm a clumpet cell right now. Aren't you lucky you just stepped out of a dead zone? And when you go back in there, think about it, where you came from and where you're going. I want you to give you this warning message and how he feels about this world and what he is going to do about it since we cannot. First, he wants everyone to repent of their sins, change their lives around and trust in Jesus Christ before it is too late and we prepare ourselves to what is coming. He is giving us one more chance to change our wicked ways and if we do not stop big tribulation tribulation is coming upon this earth where he will pour his wrath to all those who do not want to heed to this message but will save those who will obey his commandments and repent every nations of the world has gone astray living their wicked ways like there is no tomorrow, have become so low in moral decay that they lost their sense of reality by not protecting every human being under God-given rights and life and freedom. We are people that kill our own people, young as well as old, through abortion and euthanasia. My country is a country that does not protect and respect the faith unconscious of our doctors and physicians who cannot support assisted suicidal. You just came out from a dead zone, police officer. Don't realize that you're walking in there every time you go to McDonald. You're going through an abortion clinic where they're killing babies. Yeah, it's awful. Thank you, mother, to let that poor daughter be alive. Thank you for giving her life. 
But there's a place down this road, they're killing babies. What an awful thing to do. Bless the mother who bring, give lives. You women are supposed to give life. No other can give life like you women can, not even a man. So, it's, so you should be proud to be a woman, to be able to have that power to give life to a baby, to a life to another human being. Man cannot do that. Why don't you look at that, how good and merciful and glorious for God to create you as a woman. And some woman wants to change their sex life to become a man. Why don't you stay a woman and be a woman? Get yourself married, raise a family, have children. Don't kill them. No reason to kill any baby. They don't deserve that. Nobody deserves to be killed. And the Ten Commandments says, Thou shall not kill. I hope you took a picture of that post sign there, that sign. Did you see it? You know what it means? It means there's a place where they're killing babies. And I'm not allowed to go in there. What an awful thing to put a sign. should be ashamed. I'm ashamed for my city, for what it has become. Be careful not to, you don't get killed by, get hit by a car, sir. A nation that gives money to other countries to kill its own people through abortion. A country that is slowly taking away our free speech and free religion. A country that many parents fears the kind of immoral sex, sexual education their children are learning in school. A country that does not help the Christians in the Middle East from persecution, a country that accepts and spreads all kinds of sin that the Jesus of the Bible is completely against. Are we living in a country that does that? Unfortunately, it is sadly true. I have to say it is the kind of a country of my country has become. I think some of you are living in a country that is like mine. And you know one, what, and you know what I'm talking about, and you're, you're just as angry as I am. Not surprising, we have this COVID-19 virus. Might be, it might be a warning sign from God for telling us he is soon to come as, as a second time. He is not coming as a suffering servant this time, as a, but as a conquering king, where he will separate the sheep with the goat and destroy his enemy. You better be ready for that day. It will be too late to ask for forgiveness. When that time comes, you people just came out from a dead zone. You even yourself, police officer. You walk in here every day looking at that sign and you know very well there's an abortion clinic down the road that kills baby. You guys don't do nothing don't even protect their lives. What a shame. It is a shame. And I'm getting angry about it too, because nothing is being done. I hope tomorrow there'll be a lot of people on the parliament building who will support the pro-life pro rally, but I'm sure there'll be a lot there supporting pro-abortion as well. I know there's. I hope tomorrow at the. I hope tomorrow at the. I hope tomorrow at the Parliament building there's a pro-life rally. I hope there'll be a lot of people who are going to be there and supporting them. Well, you guys are safe. You just walked, came out from a dead zone. You came out from a dead zone, a territory where I'm not allowed to even stand in front of the abortion clinic with this sign which is a peaceful sign. It's a sign that is a life preserver for those who are living in a sinful lifestyle, who kills baby, who kills old people, who support homosexuality, or support euthanasia. I'm here with my gospel sign banner as a, a life preserver. There's nothing bad that what it says on this banner, and yet there'll be a lot of people complaining about me standing here with it. 
Because a lot of people don't believe God, but they do believe God, but they hate Him. That's the problem. Did you know the most hated man in this entire world that has been hated in the past is hated so much today and will be hated again in the future? Yes, my friend, it is Jesus Christ. And I bet you there's people who hate criminals as well, but not as much as they hate Jesus Christ. Because the criminals hasn't died for us for to save us from our sin, but Jesus Christ has. He died on the cross to save you from our sin through his shedded blood. And this is what we do. Is this the way we show our appreciation, recognition? I could introduce you to the person who uh, created that dog. But one thing about you and that dog, God created you as an image, not the dog. And the dog is not, he didn't die for the dog. He died for you. God, Jesus Christ died for you, for your soul, but not for a dog. Nothing wrong to have a dog as long you don't take him as more important than God. Because if you do, that's idolatry. Treat your dog properly and don't torture him, but don't look at him as, as a knit for you, as his love that he gives you. Think of Jesus Christ, the love he has for you. He's got more love to give to you than your dog. You just stepped out from a dead zone, sir, and every time you go to McDonald, you're stepping back in it. Should be a shame. Unbelievable. They don't care. People don't care. Don't know what they're going to expect when they're going to face Jesus on their day of judgment. It's not going to be funny. You won't be laughing yourself on that day. You just stepped out of that dead zone, sir. You could laugh the way you want it now, but you won't laugh it after you die. You're going to face Jesus, and you could die tonight. Could be sooner than you think. Be prepared. This very small little guy smirking on his face. Look at smirk on his face. Anyway, even if I ever get, <laughs> if somebody's getting too physical, there's a camera in the building here, and I, I got my own camera as well for protection. Did you know that you're stepping in the dead zone here every time you walk by here? Did you see that sign on the, on the post? Access zone boundaries. There's an abortion clinic down the road. If you go through, uh, if you go to McDonald's, you're passing by it, right in front of it. Don't care, eh? Nah, don't care. I don't care if they die. And yet, a lot of people are wearing ga uh, face mask, or maybe I should call it gas mask. Afraid themselves of dying, and yet they don't care if babies are dying. But yet, they'll do anything to try to save their life but would do nothing for the unborn, the innocent, defenseless baby. And no matter how much I come and cry about it, complain about it, protesting about it, preaching about it, I'm also trying to protect them and save their lives. But I also, I'm, I'm here to protect everybody's life, their physical life and their souls as well. I'm here as a life preserver, guys. You just stepped out of a dead zone, guys. I hope you're realizing it. Of course, there's more important things to think in your life. Well, that will mean nothing when you face Jesus on your day judgment. What kind of bank account you have or how much money you have in that bank account will not save you. Going to church on Sunday, it will not save you. Praying their sinner's prayer is not going to save you. What you have to do is be born again. Turn your life around, receive the Holy Spirit, get baptized and receive the Holy Spirit. Why uh, people today are so evil is unbelievable. 
evil to the core. My country has gone down to the tube of moral decay. We're under the wrath of God. He's coming back. He's going to give us his punishment. It won't be funny. It will be fire and brimstone. Meteorites, whatever. And now we have the war in Ukraine. That's a start because they're talking about wars and rumors of war that Jesus said to his disciple when he asked him when he's going to come. God bless you. God bless you. Go. Go in peace, sir. You're driving through a dead zone, sir, and make sure you don't get hit by another car because you could be dead too. And you'll have, faith, have to face Jesus on your day judgment for not caring about the unborn babies. Weren't you a baby too at your time when you were in your mother's womb? Weren't you a zygote, a fetus? Why don't you give them a chance? Yes, you were like them. What happened? You leave it there after nine months of gestation. Well, what do you know? A beautiful baby created in God's image, just like you, sir. And the things is the trouble thing about this. I'm not allowed to even stand in front of an abortion clinic to save life, but yet it's okay for them to kill them. Tomorrow is the a pro life march, and I hope you'll be on the parliament building there and support pro life. Pro life. Support pro life, not pro abortionists. Wake up, bunch of hypocrites. How many Christians are supporting abortion as well? How many Christians support euthanasia? How many Christians support homosexuality? How many Christians use God's name, professing Christian bunch of hypocrites? Yes, I am angry for what my country has become. A nation that kills babies, a nation that kills old people. Weren't we all babies ourselves too, in our mother's womb? We were Zygot too. There's no excuse to kill them. Give them the right like you have the right to life. That's what I say. It's coming. Be ready. I'm here to save your life as well. Spiritually. Well, I'm trying to save physically the life of those babies. I'm also for you people who are walking by. Trying to save your soul because you are going to die the second death if you don't change. you got to repent. 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 Forsake your sins and turn around. Change your life around. Live for Christ, not for yourself. Don't believe and worship idols. Worship God, the one who created you. The one who gave you everything you want in life. Believe in Jesus Christ. People are walking by themselves, don't care what is going on. They're oblivious. They probably don't even see I'm here. They're so blind, they can't even see I'm here. I mean, I'm physically open. And my voice is so loud, they even can hear it. But yet they're going by as if nothing. Oh, no. If somebody in the further down the block there, did you see that guy with the sign? They'll probably say, no. <laughs> Yeah, it's to show you how much blind they are. how awful this world is you just stepped out of a killing zone did you know that if you don't know then make aware of it say maybe a little prayer when you step in it at least when I step on it when I step in front of that abortion clinic I'm so angry about it I'm not, I don't, I'm not in the mood to say any prayer for them. I'm just cursing them. When I walk by in front of that abortion clinic, I just cursed it. Because they'll never change. Because they had a chance to let people stand in front of the abortion clinic and have people reading the gospel. Maybe they could have listened to it too. 
maybe they would have changed and not become abortionist but become a former abor abortionist well they missed that chance they refuse that to give to others and to themselves wait till they'll face Jesus on their day of judgment you won't be able to say nothing Jesus is gonna make you shut your mouth and I'll, in fact he'll vomit you out of his mouth too because of being so lukewarm in your case you're not lukewarm you are really hot or cold on abortion but he rather that you are hot or cold and spiritually You guys are stepping on a dead zone. You're gonna go by a abortion clinic. You're gonna walk by an abortion clinic. Don't even care. Tomorrow is pro-life rally on the hill. I hope many of you people will participate and support them. But no, most people won't. Most of the people here supports it, supports abortion. So I won't get any help from them. Anyway, now it's time for me to, to go in front of Justin Trudeau's office. I've done my share. And I want to continue saying what I have recorded about abortion. I don't want to say everything here and repeat it over there and just intrude it, but I'll do the whole speech completely in front of his office. Stepping on the dead zone, coming out of the dead zone. Stepping in the dead zone. Walking by an abortion clinic. Wake up, wake up, folks. All of you guys are like zombies. Lying like zombies. Just came out of a dead zone. It's world born. For the unborn, killing babies is like worshiping the god of Moloch. Moloch. Where he, they burn their babies alive on a hot plate. And here they're doing the same thing, except in a confined room in an abortion clinic with surgical surgery equipment which is just as bad and some of them receive saline solution so to burn them in alive inside their mother's womb what an awful thing how shameful we have become we're not any better than the gods of the Baal of those Hebrew, Hebrew Hebrews done Canaan Canaan, that's the, that's the people who were in the promised land who were doing that. And you know what God did to that, eh? to that nation? <laughs> he asked the Israelite to come and to destroy it. To destroy it, but unfortunately, they failed to do it on their first try. And you know what happened to those people, those Israelites, the first generation for disobeying God? The only two that really obeyed God was Joshua and Caleb. They were the only two people who made it in the Promised Land. That first generation, they all died, never make it to the Promised Land because of not obeying what God asked them to do, to go into that land. It is yours, I'm offering it to you. Go and destroy that those people who are burning their babies alive on a hot plate. Yeah, Caleb and Joshua made in the promise that because they wanted to go, while the rest said, no, no, we're, they are too big and too powerful. But God promised them, I will help you. Just, I will carry you. And yet they didn't believe, they didn't trust in God, and they have to live in the desert for 40 years because of their disobedience. And another thing too, you know, Moses didn't even make it. Also, a uh, bond serve a God who did lots of work, did faithful and obeyed Jesus Christ. But at the last minute, he has done something that he does obey God. He hid through, didn't make it to the promised land. And you know, that's an example of what's happening in this world. That shows you how many people are already 
to make it to heaven. There's not too many in this world are going to make it to heaven. If only two people out of a million people in the desert or <clears throat> made it to the promised land, just imagine how many in this world, in the world population, how are going to make it to heaven. Like Jesus says, many are taking the, the wide road of destruction and very few taking the narrow road of life. You know, if I have to give a percentage of the, of the world's population, how many are going to make it to heaven? I would say only 20 percent, 80 to 85 percent are all, all, all heading straight to hell. That is awful. That is shocking. Jesus knew what he was talking about. And here they don't want to believe in him. And don't want to believe what the Bible says. It's truly the words of God, and it was inspired by God. A lot of those predictions has been fulfilled. 80% of it has been fulfilled. So if 80% has been fulfilled, you can bet 20 will be completed as well. And that's only in the future. And it's coming soon, folks. Anyway, God bless you all. Have yourself a good day. Hopefully that you will repent before it's too late. I hope you will be convicted and find out your mistake and come to Christ. Turn your life around. Be born again. Be baptized receive, uh, to wash away your sins and receive the Holy Spirit. You cannot make it into heaven without the Holy Spirit inside of you. Jesus will not recognize you. That's plain and simple. Take a picture of that post sign there. Sorry? Take that picture of that post sign. Did you see that picture or that that sign there on that post? Access zone boundary. Did you take a picture of that? What is it? Post sign. It means that you're not, I'm not allowed to go to, in through that. That's a, a boundary zone uh. for a pro-life person yeah. to not Stand in front of an abortion clinic huh? because there's an abortion yeah. clinic. There's an abortion Both clinic there, and I'm not allowed to be there with this sign to try to save their life. That's why that sign says that I'm not allowed to be. Take a picture of that and show that to the world. How? So you just came out of it. So that's what I'm saying. So, but every time you walk in there, you're walking in the dead zone. Come to Christ. Think of your soul before your body. Think, the, think of the health of your soul before your body.